Askew of Korea, South Korea, and Alina Karova of Slovakia. The 36-year-old uh, world rank number five, the, the sixth in the world. Se Milian of Hong Kong is our umpire. And we will be underway very shortly, of course, the, the warm-up and the uh, tossing of the coin as we get underway. This is uh, class three. There are five classifications for wheelchair table tennis. Class one being those with the most severe impairment in terms of movement of the upper trunk of the body and class five those with the most ability to move so this is sort of in the middle there whoever wins this will take on Xu of China in the uh, quarterfinals this guy is three matches away from a gold medal Couple of minutes to warm up before we get underway. Chance to uh, get to know these athletes at the table. This is the 27 year old, Lee Mi Kyu, who beat both Pamela Fontaine of the United States and Doris Maeder of Austria, dropping just the one game on the way through. World rank number six, won the team bronze in the World Championships in 2014. And from Seoul, got through uh, Group F pretty easily. And uh, Alena, rather, Canova of Slovakia, came through by beating Diego Severo of Brazil, 3-1, but uh, did lose in straight games to the ninth seed. So a bit of a surprise there, Yoon GU of Korea. Just why she is playing Lee. We've seen the ceilings of the knockout stages, depending on how you did in the uh, group stages. Canava, who is uh, nine years older than Lee. Such a uh, glittering career. Has the set gold in Sydney, silver in Beijing, bronze in London and Athens. Lawyer by profession. Will be, will she be laying down the law here to Lee. It will be a tight game. You, you suspect if it goes to uh, ranking and to form. But uh, Lee will be buoyed by the fact she hasn't lost a match so far in this competition. Lee Migu against Elena Kanova. Career against Slovakia in this first round of the Class 3 competition. Just not finding a range, and Kanova has the first point of this match. Looking to play it wide. In the uh, wheelchair version of this game, if you can get it out wide, you stand a chance of winning the point. And also, if you can just lob it, dink it over the net, out of the reach of your opponent, that's another ploy you'll see. And there's the wide shot from Canova. Very canny. And again, using the angles very well. 
So we've got uh, a gold and four silvers at the World Championships, three of those in singles in the, in the silvers. So in terms of what the medal cabinet at home looks like, kind of you think would be the favourite, but Lee is the younger, perhaps the hungrier. And that was a very good forehand from the Korean. Working the table well, the Slovakian, but uh, didn't quite get that point to count. Three apiece. These athletes taking their time for the serves. Oh, oh took the net cord. Nothing that Canava could do about that little uh, acknowledgement from Lee. there as well brings the Slovakian within a point of Lee okay. that was a good deep shot from Lee hurried uh, Canova into the shot Slovakian with a, a battle on their hands here Just took a nibble of the table there. Well, it didn't. It went wide. I thought it took a deflection. Well, that means that Lee has the three-point lead, heading towards the crunch time in this first game. And she looks like she's just asserting her authority here, even though she's ranked below. Kind of a, she's had a better tournament so far. Tried to flat bat it down the middle, didn't get it over the net, and uh, she's in a spot of bother here. Kind of a 9 5. Taking their time here, five minutes on the game already. It's wide, and there's five game points for Lee Miguel. Took the ball nice and early. Forcing Canada into the mistake. And a chance now for Lee to take the first game, take the advantage. Only drops one game so far in the competition. Oh, that's a lovely response from the Slovakian. Still four game points, but uh, Canova has to serve. Okay. Oh. 
Ms. Long. There's another one saved. Well, from five to two, but there's still a chance. Oh dear. Unforced errors are not what you need if you want to close out this game. Oh, and she is defending brilliantly. That was a good rally. And we are at 10 apiece here. Can't really fault Lee. She was trying to move the angles around, trying to cause problems. Five game points saved. First to a two point gap. First game point for Canova, but the serve is with Lee. Oh, she's done it as well. Well, what a comeback that is. Five game points saved, and the first one she gets, she nails and takes the first game 12 to 10. Pep talks done and dusted. We're ready for the second game. And how will Lee respond to having squandered five game points? She is a game to move down. And she has the serve in this second game. Much better. That's a good return from Canova, but good stretching from Lee to reach that tricky ball. And she managed to put it away on the angle, across the table. Oh, and that forehand on the diagonal. Excellent work from Lee. Much better start to this second game. There you go. Talk about rotation and getting the power. Talk about it. With Olympic table tennis players, we talk about it with those here who are able to stand. But it's just as important for those playing the wheelchair version of the game. Got to get power behind those shots and did brilliantly. And again, it's a little bit too hot to handle for Canova. Spent a lot of time just readjusting, making sure she's ready for the point. Lee made to wait. Good return. Won't push too far across the table, always makes it difficult.
Excellent. Backhand, topspin. Maneuvered it to where she needed it to be. She really is in no hurry at all, is she? <laughs> really hanging on there, it was a really decent inside out backhand from Canada. That's the shot there. And Lee managing to get to it. Straight at the body, always difficult to play. Oh, and that should have been a little bit better from Lee. She knows it as well. Had a chance to whip the forehand. Couldn't quite take it. That's uh, excellent from Lee. Digging, here, digging in here and uh, desperate to level the games at one apiece. Trying to be as aggressive as she possibly can. Once again, Elena kind of uh, takes her time. Good return. That's the uh, shot that is peculiar in a way to uh, wheelchair table tennis. Just lifting the ball up, making sure if anything it just starts with a bit of backswing comes back towards the net and as you can see, there's only so far you can reach into the table. It's a, it's a clever shot, you've got to be very skilled to pull it off but it will get you points if you can do it. And uh, <laughs> Lee trying to do the same with the serve, but kind of uh, able to finish that off with a little bit of a deft touch. Tight one the second game. Timeout has been called by the looks of it. And I wonder whether it is the uh, Koreans who just want to make sure that this is put to bed this second game yeah a seven year old made a debut three years ago he lives in Seoul he's born in Seoul as well Time called by Sinelan, uh, umpire. And Lee has the slight advantage in this second game. 
And she has the serve, which will help. Seven really tight second game. Remember, Lee scored in five game points in the first game, and it's all level. Not getting enough top spin on that forehand. Remember, Canova losing one of her two group games, so she's not coming to here with the best of form necessarily. Lost in straight games to Jung Jiu of Korea last time out. Long and wide. Advantage to Lee Mi Gyu. Oh, yes, what a shot that was. And it wasn't a bad serve, but it was right in the sweet spot for Canova. Nothing you can do about that. She's not a great smiler, is she? Very intense, but I'm sure she was pleased with that shot. Nine apiece then. Oh yeah, too tentative from Lee. Into the net it goes. And a game point to make it two to nothing in this opening match of this session for Elena Canova. And there it is. Well, she's showing her experience, isn't she? Grinding out that second game win after doing an amazing job in saving five ma uh, game points rather in the first game. And Lee Miguel in a spot of bother. She trails Elena Canova by two games to love. For the coach to do with Lee Miku, she'll be feeling very disappointed after uh, 
really being in both of these first two games and losing out. Underway then, chance for Canova to wrap this up in a straight games match. Lee, I'm sure, will be doing her best to stop that happening. Look at the speed of the hands there. Have to be so alert. Excellent angles from Lee. Despite that, scores a level in this third game. Oh, it just, uh, I think, took a edge of the table there. And did it just, oh, it looked like it missed. Such very fine angles. And margins. Oh, that's better. Excellent. Down the middle of the table, smash from Lee. Kind of just not able to find the angle she wants. Made a little bit awry at the moment. That's better for Lee. Bossing the point. I don't need to worry about the unforced errors from Canova. Kept coming back, and in the end, she worked the opportunity, helped by the net cord as well, of course. Much better start to this third game for the Korean. Oh, what a return. Goodness me. Well, uh, in table tennis, whether you're on your feet or in the chair, generally is unplayable. Oh, yes, another fantastic backhand this time from Canova. Very quick with the hands there. Both to get there and decide to take it across the table. Nice, nice from Lee. Look at the spin, just taking it away from the bat of Canova. Well, can she be edging closer to this third game? She looked in charge 
at 10-5 in the first and lost at 12-10. That will be playing on her mind, I'm sure. Good stretch from Canada, and although Lee got to it, couldn't quite get it on target. 8-4, she's still in this game. These two do take their time, it has to be said. We've had a, an eight minute, a 10 minute game. They like to, particularly Canada, take the time, make sure they're right. There's no point rushing, medals at stake here. Nine five, remember she was 10 five in the first game. And blew that, but can she get herself over the line in this third game? Uh, not quite getting it over the net. Looked like it might have just crawled over. Looking to wrap it up in straight games if she can. But she's got a bit of a way to go here. That was a well placed shot from the Slovakian. Once you get it right on the edge of the table, you're always going to cause the athlete on the other side in the wheelchair version of the game a few problems. Cramps you up a little bit. Certainly gives you less time to decide your shot. 9 7. Another comeback from Canada. It's a good angle. I think it might have taken a brush of the net because uh, she was holding her breath there it was a Slovakian. <laughs> it wasn't the shot I think she was trying to play. 9-8 then. And this time, unable to level it up at nine apiece. So, Two game points. And this time she managed to do something about it. It'll uh, just take a while to take the towel. Every six points are allowed to do that. I wonder if it's playing on her mind the fact she hasn't converted any game points so far in this match. Oh yes, this time she does. Excellent forehand from a very crisp serve. And she's poured herself back into this match. Good serve. And look at the speed of the return. After Canava had played her shot. So a bit better for the Korean. She now trails by two games to one.
Good crowd in here, making a lot of noise, a lot of tables, of course, uh, in this rear centre of three. This is table one. And it's, uh, it's an interesting one. Lee pulling again back. She trails by two to one. That's a three, of course, and Canova looks very assured. The gold medalist in Sydney, the silver medalist in Beijing, the bronze in London and Athens. Oh, good rally. Not quite hit cleanly by Canova at the end. Just a little hurried into the shot. Excellent from Canova. Really quick into the shot. And he forced to defend desperately, but it wasn't enough. One apiece. Not often they'll encounter an atmosphere like this. I'm sure they're savouring it. Uh, hopefully they can focus. Well, we have seen several times the Korean take an early lead. But uh, Canada won't panic just yet. Playing some good table tennis here. Wasn't the greatest returns, of course. She knows it as well, but that is easy meet for Lee. Plenty of time to line up the shot. Oh, set up really because of the serve. It was a, a decent flat, quick serve. 4 1 then. Lee in the lead in this fourth game. Oh, and it's long. It's all very well giving it the power. You've got to make sure you've got a little bit of top spin. She gave it everything, didn't she? And then a bit more. Long again. Some good exchanges between these two athletes. Easy on the eye when they get into a rally. You see how far Lee had to reach for the shot before. Just a little bit unbalanced from that last shot. And it's long again. Excellent little. Inside that backhand, just slapped it all over the net. That's the one there. And although that return from Canova wasn't the greatest, she got away with it. Lee not finding the range at the moment, and after charging into a lead, she's pegged back again. Long. This is a very slow game as well. They're taking their time on the serve. And uh, if the Korean takes it to a fifth game, I reckon we'll have one of the longest matches 
so far in the tournament. Organizers schedule in the group stage around 40 minutes per game. We went over that quite a lot with some of these tables, but uh, an extra five minutes because of the uh, nature of the knockout stages. And by my reckoning, this has been running almost 40 minutes. Might be one of the epics so far of this competition. Five points played, chance to have a, a breather. And, uh, not that bothered, she'll just sit and meditate. She's a very calm character. Member of the Slovakian curling team as well. That's a completely different ball game, so to speak. She's uh, featuring in the Winter Paralympic Games. Oh, it's a brilliant point from Canava. Noise in the net cord, but you know what? She worked that table beautifully. Making Lee stretch one way, then the other. And just a little bit too far, even for Lee's athleticism. Oh, she should have hit that one. Should have hit that one. And she's in a bit of bother here. I don't know if it's just affecting her a bit more the nerves of this big occasion than it is Canova. She's moving to the in touching distance of this match. Two points between her and her place in the next round, the quarterfinals. Oh, and there you go. Another touch of the net, but she's played brilliantly in this uh, game. And it's four match points to Elena Kanova of Slovakia. the serve though and a lot to do here oh <laughs> well that's not a bad way to save a match point absolutely leathered it a lot of top spin on it as well not enough time to get the right back position for Canova but there's still three match points a way to win the match no way that was coming back and she has won this match the hard way very often finding herself behind save five game points in the first game but uh, the class of the Sydney gold medalist the woman who has won medals in the last four Paralympic Games she makes her way through to the quarterfinals where she will play Zhu of China. More relief than exhortation, but a very professional exhibition from that woman there. And it is Elena Canova who triumphs in the round one match against Lee Miyu.